Just take a look at this. ROAS 10.21 using Facebook's brand new ad strategy tool. This thing, honestly, it truly just blows my mind because there's no working out which interests you should target. There's no having to decide which audiences. Yeah, I'll hit that one. No, I won't hit that one. That one doesn't work so well. There's none of that. Facebook literally does everything for you it's as simple as one two three and i don't i don't exaggerate that whatsoever so this is how you can use it this video is going to show you how you can create your first campaign using this brand new tool and i can't stress this enough you need to use this now you need to jump on this today because what's going to happen is over time as people start to become aware of it more people are going to jump on and it's going to become super super saturated and roas will start dropping now for full transparency as you can see here we have an average roas of 5.71 we've run this campaign for two days so the second day did drop off a little bit from that 10.21 but hey 5.71 is still really really good so if you want to jump in on this you need pixel data if your pixel doesn't have many conversions behind it yet you need to go and run a typical facebook interest campaign i would really recommend doing a high budget one the reason again is all about time because the longer you leave it the more people are going to find out about this tool so jump in there grab some pixel data once you are allowed to use this tool jump in here and then click create strategy in the top right hand corner we're then going to go through make sure our correct ad account is selected and now click continue and you can read this if you want, but you can just go straight through. You can say, no, my campaign is not about credit, employing, <laughs> employment, housing, or social issues. Obviously, you're selling products. Now, this question is really important. How often do you think customers are going to purchase from you each year? For most dropshippers, it's probably once a year. But if you run a general store, you actually may want people to come back a couple of times. So depending on that, you'll probably be choosing once a year or two to five times. For my scenario, I'm going to choose once a year. I feel like that's probably the most common scenario for most dropshippers. Do you want sales or leads? We want sales. And now it's going to break down exactly what this campaign is going to do. So as we can see here, Facebook is going to send a lot of our uh, budget and traffic is going to go towards new customers this is people who've never experienced our brand before or our product it's going to then give a smaller proportion about 20 odd percent to engage customers you can think of that like retargeting ads the last little 10 percent or so is going to go to repeat customers those are people who have purchased in the past and are more likely to purchase again the best bit about this is there's no interest selecting facebook will literally find the people for you there's there's nothing you have to do i can't stress that there's nothing you have to do facebook will literally go and find everything for you so all you have to do is now go how much do i want to spend facebook says you should spend three thousand five hundred and ninety dollars it's going to spend that over 30 days which works out to being what like 120 odd bucks a day or so quick 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 mass um it's it's not that bad it's very reasonable and if facebook's saying hey spend this to get results then just go with it i wouldn't muck around with any of this at all i would just go continue um, our audience is already sorted based off Facebook's algorithms. You now just choose which countries you want to target. So let's say for this example, we are targeting New Zealand. We now go continue and now we can finally start creating some ads so the first thing you want to do is under new customers you want to go create ads and then video ad now the weird thing about this whole facebook ad tool thing is you can't use an ad which you've used in the past and what i mean by that is you can use the video but you can't bring the social proof over so say you have an ad which has performed really well and it's had hundreds of likes and heaps of comments you can upload that same video but you can't bring the comments over the same as you would normally do in facebook it's facebook's ad manager you'll just copy and paste the ad id right you can't do that here so you have to make a brand new ad so you can jump in you'll click here to upload a video but as you can see there's no upload video button now a workaround for this if you do want to use a new video jump into your normal ads manager create a new ad upload a video to there jump back into the ad strategy tool and you should see the video appear so this is a quick example of one we've just made up um, so we can rush through the video a little bit quicker so you have your video here say we're selling these tiktok you know galaxy lamp things you've seen it on tiktok now you can have it at home save 25 percent today um, you enter in your shopify url here and then you need to jump in here and under tracking select your verified domain now if you have not done your domain settings yet if you have not verified your domain inside facebook ads manager you need to stop pause and do this right now there's a video here I'll, I'll link it right now there's a video here which is going to explain how you can get your ads manager ready for ios 14 and the reason why that's really important is because look at this i got this email literally this morning saying the apple ios 14.5 when it's released in the next few days your ads may be paused unless you do this now of course facebook is saying your ads 
may be paused, which of course to me means Facebook saying, hey, do this now or you're going to suffer and it's going to be very hard for your business. And once you've done that correctly, you'll be able to select your domain from this dropdown. Then click close. Now we can create an engaged customer's ad. This is a retargeting ad. So you can use one which you've used in the past. You go create ads, single image. Um, you can select an image that you've used in the past, ironically as well. So for videos, we can't upload new videos, but you can upload new images. So if you want to make a new one, that's totally fine. So let's say we're using this one. It says, just Google it. Um, so, you know, buy your favorite TikTok lamp from Google. Beautiful spelling. And again, you're entering your URL exactly the same as you would before. Once you've all done all that, click close. And then you have your repeat customers. For repeat customers, this is people who have obviously purchased something in the past. So what you could do is say we were doing a single image ad again. Maybe you want to target them and say, hope you liked your TikTok lamp. Grab another for 50% off just for you. <laughs> and you can do something like that to target those repeat customers. It's not really a big deal. You won't get too many sales from people who have purchased in the past. Um, if they do want to buy something, they probably won't buy it off Facebook ads, but just have something in there just in case. Once you've done that, all you have to do is then go and click close again, which is in the bottom right hand corner, and now click continue. And you're done. Truly. It's, it's truly as easy as that and it will handle everything. Everything is automated. All you have to do is literally just sit there and just wait for the and then fulfill the order. It's as simple as that. If you found this video really helpful, uh, please, please, please give us a subscribe, give us a like. Once we reach 1000 subscribers, we are releasing a brand new Facebook group just for Ecom Lion subscribers. So if you want more videos like this, if you want to be first to the game and to know things when they drop straight away and how to use them quickly, you need to be a part of this group and you can subscribe to be a part of that below. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'm Ecom Lion. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, but I'll catch you next time. Yeah.